Hi, this is Ryan with Better Tattooing, and today we're going to be asking a question, why are you wiping your tattoos so hard? Okay, now that's over with. Um, all right, I've been watching videos on YouTube, which is probably just not a good idea. Um, and then, you know, searching social media and things like that, and I found people just digging in <laughs> when they're wiping a tattoo. Sometimes they even do it dry, which is kind of a, a joke in the, uh, the industry anyways, which, I mean, if you think about it, it's kind of, you know, savage, but whatever. Not mine to, to judge. Um, so th this should be pretty quick. Like, when you're wiping and cleaning a tattoo, um, if you're doing it dry, that's, that's not really good. I mean, you shouldn't be doing that, right? Um, dry wiping a tattoo is rough on it, right? Like if we start looking at a paper towel, right? Piece of paper towel, it looks like it's all soft and fluffy and all this stuff, right? But if you actually like blow it up, right? And you look at it, it's filled with all these little fibers and hairs and stuff they're going over. It's all cross-hatched and interwoven and laid together, right? And on a microscopic scale, this stuff is really, really rough, right? It's made from plant pulps, fibers, wood pulps, stuff like this. So, I mean, would you rub a, a branch on someone's tattoo dry? We wouldn't rub it anyways, but I mean, no, right? So, what do we try to do? When we go to wipe and we've got to clean, we can do one of two things, right? First off, if you use a spray bottle, right? squirt bottle, things like this. You don't want to put this right onto the tattoo. On tattoo directly? Uh, no. And why do, we, why do we say that, right? No. Um, we don't do that because when we do spray it, we do anything that's just gonna be putting it directly onto it, we're creating aerosolates, right? Little particles of blood and things like this that get splashed up, put into the air and they can be, you know, inhaled, absorbed, put on other things and make our surfaces generally unclean. So we don't want to do that, right? We are going to be using a squirt bottle or a spray bottle, something like this. We want to make sure we're putting it directly onto the paper towel before we use it, right? So we'll like turn away, put it on there. If there's going to be any type of splashing, anything else that's going on, it's going to end up, you know, not being filled with blood and things like this. I mean, realistically, using spray or squirt bottles usually isn't the best way to actually wash and clean a tattoo when you're doing it. Um, the best way, it's the old school way, you go get yourself a Dixie cup, a couple of them, and you fill it with your soap. And instead of spraying, right, you take your paper towel and you dip it. Dip, dip, makes it a little wet. Go ahead and give yourself a wipe. You've got half of it that's wet, half of it that's dry. Get the tattoo moistened up, flip the paper towel, give it a wipe, nice and clean. That'll make it so you don't have to wipe so hard, right? Normally you're wiping really hard because you're using your hydrophobic substances, right? A and D, Vaseline, things like that. You're putting that onto the tattoo and you're just scraping it off, right? Because as you're going, that a and &E you put in will kind of mix with the pigment. If you give it a wipe nice and hard, you'll end up uh, taking it off the skin, no problems, right? Now, I know it's just like, I'm giving you the, the reasons to like why, right? Like it's not this, it's not this, blah, 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 blah. Realistically, like when you wipe dry, because we've already caused trauma to the skin, right? What we're doing is we're increasing the trauma. One, you're gonna be stressing a lot just by stretching it. And you think about like, if we have a tattoo, right? <laughs> tattoo, and we just pull it when it's freshly done. Each different direction, you pull it, ow, right? That's not good. Well, you're doing the same thing when you're doing that with like your dry wiping and stuff. Pulling it across the tattoo. You're just causing a bunch of micro fissures inside the actual tattoo. Because so we have a bunch of like small needle wounds, right? Microscopically. And when you pull them really hard, you know, through mechanical force wiping, doing any of this other stuff, you start creating little rips along them, right? It increases the trauma, will lead to, you know, probably more exudate, blood, plasma, things leaping out of it. And um, it's going to take longer to heal. So, please, like, if you're, don't wipe so hard, personally, you know, it's not just a thing. Uh, even if people are bothering you, consummate professionals, right? We don't want to do that. But just get, get your towels, paper towels, wet. The dip method works great. And uh, be a little bit more gentle with the skin. You'd be surprised how much longer the people can last in the tattoo's chair when they're getting work done and how much quicker that it can heal. That's it for today. This is Ryan from Better Tattooing, signing off.